Hi everybody, it's Micheline from Misha Makes again. Uh, this vlog is nothing to do with sewing. It's nothing to do with, um, well there is a bit of a natter in it because, uh, well I'll tell you in a minute. We decided to go on one of our cruises. Now, um, oh she's landed on my desk, little whitey. There she is. Oh, who's that girl in the mirror? Who's that in the mirror? Who do you think that is in the mirror? Hey, who's that there? Who's that in the mirror? It's another pussycat, isn't it? It's another pussycat. Anyway, um, it's Friday. It's our day off, although we did do some work. We did some uh, paperwork before we set off. And we have... Uh, we decided to go out for a drive and a few years ago, I think about two or three, two years ago, we've lived in this area for 20 years and I've heard of a place called Raby Castle but I didn't know where it was and I didn't know what it looked like. So one day we were driving, um, we'd gone up for a drive into the countryside up into the dales of York, uh, kind of Durham come Yorkshire and then we'd found the, this lovely garden centre where we could have a coffee and that was called Eggleston Eggleston Hall I think it was and uh, we were coming heading back home but we took the wrong turning and when we took the wrong turning we suddenly came across this castle now I'm from Northumberland which is the land of castles there's a lot of castles in Northumberland but I'd never I knew there were a few castles in this area. There's Ripley Castle, there's Durham Castle, there's um, Hilton Castle, there are other ones. But um, I didn't, I, I hadn't seen this Raby Castle. And as we drove along, I went, oh, what on earth? That is a beautiful castle. What's that? Went, whoa, well, I didn't know anything about that. So then we decided we'd make it a, a, a special trip to go and see this castle. So we went uh, a couple of years ago and I was absolutely taken by it. It was absolutely a wonderful place to go to. And so uh, we've been on a couple of ventures. We've gone a couple of times. But we've taken grandkids with us. And the thing with, you, with when you take grandkids is that you either picnic or you whiz round the castle at top speed so you don't really get a chance to look at things very well. So last we went, Brian and I went a couple of, about three weeks ago and uh, when we went they said we could join to, we could become members and it wasn't very expensive being OAPs I think it was £22 each for the whole year so we thought right we'll get that and we'll we'll make use of it so two weeks two or three weeks ago we went to view the gardens and I'll put some little videos up of that and then today we decided to go for a tour around the castle and uh, if you want to, I'll take you with me because I filmed I, this. What the, most castles don't let you film, but this one let us film, and I thought it was great because I was chatting to all the ladies and the gentlemen who were who were the guides in each room. So if you like a little bit of history, and you like a bit of a laugh because we do laugh, I've got a husband who tells dad jokes. He's one of those where you you roll your eyes or you go, what? I don't get that. I don't. What? What are you? What are you talking about? And then you suddenly, suddenly ping! You suddenly, oh god! Your eyes roll and you go, oh, a dad joke. <laughs> so, so, um, but the thing is, you see, we do make mention of this. We have friends who are already retired, and we aren't retired yet. So, uh, we our friends are often going on cruises. Now, Brian doesn't like cruises, and uh, but we always say because we we're still working and we don't have the time to go to uh, go on holidays um, we decided that I think came up with the idea that every time we go anywhere even if it's for a pub lunch I'm on a cruise <laughs> I'll say and I'll say Ian Brian you know what it didn't cost us thousands of pounds to go on this cruise <laughs> not that you know um, I don't we're just you know, for me, this is a little cruise. So this little trip to Raby Castle was a little cruise and we had our lunch there. We're back at back home now. I'm about to start and get some plates engraved because I've got some customers. I've got to get these plates off today. And um, he's upstairs, up there. Well, up, up there, 
practicing his guitar so um anyway it's going to be quite a long one so if you don't like history or you're not into castles uh turn off now give me Give me that thumbs down that that one person gives me. I don't know who she or she is, but I always get a thumbs down. Um, and I don't care. Am I bothered? It, you know, I really don't care. If you don't like me, turn me off, go somewhere else. So anyway, um, I shall let you go and watch the video. And I'll catch you next time. Bye! <laughs>at Walworth Castle and look at these glasses I've got I forgot my other ones and these are called cocoons and I'm sure some of you will know about them but they wrap around your ordinary glasses so you can wear your glasses and then you can put these over the top isn't that good <laughs> I think they're about uh, well I bought a pair another pair the other week 16 pounds I'm, I'm a stickler for glasses I love different glasses well, if you're going to have different clothes, you have different glasses to go with it, don't you? Anyway, that was a little view that I showed you of us coming into Walworth Castle. That's it through there. I don't know if you can see. That's, um, that's the entrance down there. And here's his lordship coming out, I think. There he goes. He's dropped them off. So now we're going to Raby. Neville Gateway, it's named after Phil Neville, who managed the Lionesses to World Cup semi-final. Against the USA? Against the USA. <laughs> and because the USA were coached by a Geordie, a Geordie girl. Were they? Yes. Oh, that I didn't know that. That's why they won. Did you see that? Plus they're dead jammed. It must have its nest up here. Can you see a nest anywhere? Oh, yeah. oh it's just gone flying out there. Yeah, the boat's gone.
Where's the that one? Oh, there it is, that one there. Two swifts. Looking after the babies. What's this room called? Octagon Drawing Room. Octagon Drawing Room. And the last time we were here, the lady was telling us that apparently the wallpaper over there is replaced. Is it or is it this one that's been replaced? That's the original wallpaper that's over original. there. It's damask silk. It's not wallpaper. Wow. Covering the walls. Um, the walls that have the windows inserted, that's original. Yeah. The sunlight, the ultraviolet light, had damaged the other five walls to this extent. This is a piece they took off. Oh, wow. That's the wall, the wall what the walls are covered in? Yeah. yeah. <gasps> wow. So the UV light had just rotted it away. Mm. Yeah. So, and so in the 1990s, they um, started to renovate the room. And it took five years to do it. And it took three years to build it, five years to renovate wow. it. Wow. Um, and uh, they, they found a Victorian handloom that was still in commercial use. And they made so it they came up and they took a pattern from the original, the three walls over there, and they were able to recreate the silks on the five walls. But the clever bit is they did it to blend in. So they didn't create brand new and looked brand new. Uh -huh. They actually they, they changed the colour to match they it. They did it to match the general, the natural wear of the silk wow. of the design. Well, so well, well, that was replaced. Um, everything else was simply cleaned, including the ceiling, because it was really dirty, really black, because of the smoke from two fires. Yeah, mm -hmm. you, oh, of course you've got a fire there, um, and you'd have and yeah, smoke and one there. Smoking in the room. So it had covered the ceiling. So. They weren't quite sure what they were going to find. Um, anyway, they used some mild detergent and washed a small area and it worked. It came up lovely. So they washed the whole ceiling and this is what came through. So in a way that the smoke, the soot and that had protected it. Yes, yes. Um, so this is original. Beautiful. Original um, gilding, paintwork. It hasn't yeah. been re redone at all. Gorgeous. The carpet was simply cleaned. So everything else was made for the room, yeah. the window, the, sorry, the mirrors, the fireplace, yeah. um, the lot. Chandelier built for the room. Marvellous. Um, but it's got a twin in the dining room as well. Doesn't look the chandelier? Place. The chandelier. Because this one's set off, I think, by that support that's coming down yeah. from the ceiling. And the light's just bouncing around on the gold. Yes, it's lovely. in the yeah. mirrors. Look no, at the just door. Stunning. Top of the door. The golden silk furniture was built for this room. You can, if you look at the two-seater, there's an angle. Yes, it's I noticed it's that it's on an angle. In the angle of the room. Yeah, yeah. built specially for the room. <laughs> but, but, yeah, it just shows, you know, the, the <laughs> trouble they went to to furnish, um, to make this room yeah. something special. Yeah. Really lovely. Do they use it at all, or is it just for mainly? Not uh, really. No, they've got their own little private section, quarters, private quarters. Private yeah. Quarters, which are beautiful. Yeah. Mm. Lovely. Well, his paintings, if you look on the internet at Cornelis de Vos, they're all like that. Yeah. All in gorgeous. Black, all with the roofs. Even the families. Well, it's a family. Yeah. It's the same as that, but we don't know who they are. Can you imagine if you had to go around wearing one of those all the day? <laughs> well, they they went out of fashion in 1660 in this country. Uh huh. Because um, they must have been pretty uncomfortable to wear. They must they have been. Because <laughs> it was stiff, wasn't it? Stiff yes, fabric. Yes, it would have to be starched. Very stiff fabric. Yeah. The one above him is uh, Sir John Finch. He was speaker right. in the Houses of Parliament. Good friend of Charles I. And that is by Van Dyke. Wow. And the one over there that looks like Lawrence Llewellyn uh -huh. is supposed <laughs> to be by Van Dyke, but when it was sent for cleaning, it's the school of Van Dyck, so it's ah. worth considerably less now yeah, than, it than it would have been. Um, and the one underneath is um, Lady Catherine Powlett, and she married into this family. She married William Harry, and wow. that painting is by Joshua Reynolds. Wow. 
Oh. I love this one at the end. What's this? Who's who's the big one? Yeah, the big one. That's by Luca Giordano. It's called Marcus Curtius. Marcus Curtius is the soldier you can see on the horse. Yeah. Very, very famous Roman soldier. Yeah. And Rome was under threat of destruction, basically. I think possibly from a volcano, which is why there's a, yeah. a hole. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah. he made a bargain with the gods and said, I'll sacrifice myself if you spare Rome. Wow. Which is exactly what he did. He drove into, into the, the, the into the road into the uh, the into pit the or void, whatever it is a void. And it closed over and Rome was <gasps> saved. Wow. But there are two more paintings by uh, Giordano on uh -huh. the stairwell. Yeah. One is the circumcision and the other one is the adoration of the Magi. As big as that either wow. side. Wow. So I'll have look at those. Check them go. out then. And this is the Mac King chandelier that's from yes. the other room. Yes. Gorgeous. And this. Um, ceiling is equally as impressive as that. Yeah. This is a Thomas Guioche design. Uh -huh. The Guioche design re re what's the word? Refers to all the little swirly, swirly Curls, whirly yeah, bits. Yeah, yeah. And you will find those swirly whirly bits on Fabergé enamel. On the oh, all right, yes. And on your ten pound notes. Or you or you your notes. Yeah. Because it was a security system. Well I never. So Thomas Beautiful. Golligios. Golligios. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. That was good. I hope they're all full of information like you lot. <laughs> oh, give us a In those days, shooting was obviously a very important part of, of the landed gentry's lives. Look at that wall. Right. What wall? Right there. With all, those With heads all the on. heads on, yeah. Staggering. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm married to one. Definitely married to one. Just having a wander down here and then I'm going to wander around again. There, that's where we came in down there. And we've done a big round tour. And now we're back to here. Oh. Let's hope he. Let's hope he died natural death. Is this another joke? Eh? Is this another joke? No. Oh, because he said he keeps looking at you. No, I do. He keeps looking at me. If you look at his eyes, right, he's looking at you. See, he's looking at yeah, you. Yeah, he is. Cows are like that, though. Yeah. Doesn't matter where they're pointed, they always look like they're looking at you. Yeah. Well, what's he got to say? Moo. <laughs> So this little thing here, Brian, Brian says he'd like to have with music speakers inside. And the gentleman says that underneath you put the coal in and it keeps your bottom warm. Hot coals. <laughs> Very good. You often see them in uh, halls of houses or hotels and the like. You know, yeah. This type of porter's chair. Because of course they could be sitting up all night. Yes, uh, yes. Waiting, just in case anyone came. For the butlers? Uh, for you, for the, the, the staff would sit in them or? Probably would be someone on duty all night. Who would stay uh, I mean there. it wouldn't be there. It really no, it would be. Used, you yeah. know, it would be at the, uh, uh, at the door. Um, but uh, someone would need to be need to be in attendance. In attendance of, yes, of, of, yes. of some request for That's something. Right. Yes, wow. Yes, yes. How did they keep, was it just the one fireplace that kept a place like this warm? Well when it was, uh, when it was altered more in, into, a, into a country house that we see today, um, initially that was before central heating, yes. so all the rooms had fires. Yeah. Uh, but in the Victorian period, central, you know, the, you this, see they've the got pipes, central heating because you can right. see them over there, yeah. Yes, and, and, yeah. Uh, 
and it's also a system now to keep the humidity the uh, right temperature the right, so things yes, don't go that's right, yes, deteriorate that's right, that's yeah. right. Wow. Uh, you see when you go into the chapel um, below the windows there are what appears to be sort of radiator grills but they're actually for the humidity control right. to keep it uh, to keep it right. and that isn't a recent development they mm -hmm. were aware of that <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much yeah. you just go upstairs up there yes. that way thank you thank you we came in down there down the other end of the yeah. The what? The what? The 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 yeah. And then when you factor in the furniture, and then the building, and then the land. I would have thought they'd probably have more than one servant in the bedroom. Yeah, possibly. Too shy. Oh, is this the family here? This must be a younger family. Lord Barnard. Blue bedroom. No bedroom. This is the posh bedroom. Blue bedroom. Surely, if you were a few servant, you'd get paid off. <laughs> Why? Living in a scruffy little box. Compared hey, to you, you would have been felt privileged if you were working for somebody like this. Well, of course. What's the alternative back then? Working in a, on the land. Living in a in a barn. Wow, look at this. I'll just stash it all away. I wonder who that bust is. Well that's a bit gory. I didn't do that with my head. What's it say, Harry? Harry George, Duke of Cleveland. It's not really him, is it? Yeah, he looks dinner. Cast. Oh, it's, a, it's one of those. That's one of those. Um, it's a death mask. A death mask. It looks like one of Middlesbrough's rough sleepers. It's him up there. Which one? The one in the middle? Or the one yeah. above? The third one along. In the middle? Uh, not the one above? No, no, no. The one where his head's down? Yeah. So that. That's is the last that. Duke of Cleveland. The last Duke of Cleveland. In actual fact, you can still see some hairs where they tweaked it up. Oh. Oof. Oh. Oh. Go with this, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd wax anybody. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's enough. <laughs> you wouldn't stay on the table very long. <laughs> <laughs> I keep saying to me, partner, I'll wax your legs for you. Because every now and again he gets me to like shear him because God, he's like a sheep. <laughs> Take him outside. <laughs> and I dog groom him. <laughs> and I say, how about we get some wax now? Like, Don't you even think about it. <laughs> so, well, I, I, I really do it quick. It doesn't matter how quick you say. <laughs> it's all the fashion for young ones these days for oh, the men to get yeah. done as well. Yeah. He wouldn't, oh, he wouldn't entertain No, it. we oldies wouldn't do it. <laughs> a lot of fellas uh, apparently write poetry when that's done to them. Why? Are they? Yeah, apparently they wax lyrical. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> a dad joke. Come on, then. What's, what's, the, what, what's the most exciting story about this hall? 
Or isn't there one? <laughs> well, this is where they reputedly is supposed to have been 700 knights that plotted the rising of the north. Wow. This is where this was supposed to be done with uh -huh. Percy and the Nevilles. Uh -huh. So Percy from Northumberland came down and he plotted with Charles, uh, yeah, Charles Neville, to uh, do the rising of the north. And this is where all the knights assembled. Uh -huh. But I would like to get 700 people to come in here and, and see, see if it whether actually... it could. Yeah. Because it's only to that line there. That's right, original. Uh -huh. That was where the original wall was. Yeah, there was a wall there. Yeah. That there is over the top of the octagon yeah. room. Right. So that's an extension effect. That's an extension. When they did the alteration. Mind you, this would be about the size of my old school hall up in Northumberland. Right. And the school had about 800 students. And when, when we used to have assembly, we actually got everybody more or less in. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's halfway. So you're talking about eighteen. Twenty a row. Mm hmm. So five rows is. They're all row. in armour, mind. <laughs> Give them room right. for the armour. Five rows. <laughs> five rows. One, two, three, four, five. That's a hundred. Right. Go on, then see if you can get seven hundred in. One, two, three. Four, five, that's 200. <laughs> they might be out the door. 300. Four. Five. 500. They must have had to squeeze in sideways. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, trouble the trouble is if you have that 700 people in here where was the person who would he be on a little stand? it would have to be somewhere wouldn't somewhere it somewhere to tell them what yeah somewhere mm -hmm. high yeah to tell yeah. them unless he was behind the uh, minstrel's gallery because of course that door wouldn't be across there then ah the right yeah the gallery would have gone right across right so he might have stood up there ah, and he right. would have been able to see so he, everybody yes everybody. yes he would have addressed yeah. everybody that way that's yeah. what i would think he would have done wow, yeah. amazing and, and also, there's when plus you've got enough. You, you go back a bit more there. Yes, it goes back, so you might get another you another. Six hundred and fifty. You might, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know. I think you might be pushing it to seven. <laughs> yeah, but the, the, as often happens in in written history, yes. there's you know we all exaggerate. Very, very much so, yeah. You know, mm. or do exaggerate depending yeah. on our politics. I mean, he would have an awful lot of knights and squires would have been here anyway. Yeah. At the mm. castle. Yeah. So the ones that came down from Percy as well. So there might mm. have been 700 knights at the castle. But not necessarily in here. But not necessarily You'd probably, well, I would imagine you'd have your leaders that would come in here. Probably, yeah. Leaders and the... All the they do, they, it's supposed to be in the poor mall, or the yeah. saying that there is. That's 700 knights assembled in Raby Castle to plot the rising of the north. Oh, yeah. we'll have to check that out. Mm. Very good. But that's what it's supposed to be. But apart from that... Um, it didn't come off, though, did it? Well, they tried, but no. Mm. Definitely didn't. That that's was why right. Neville um, fled, and it went into the hands of the Crown for 56 years. Parliamentary men actually came here and, and lived in it for so long, or Cromwell's men. Mm -hmm. And then it was sold to the Vane right. in 1626. A long time ago. It is, yeah. Okay. Well, in 2026, 400 years. Oh, wow. That's not well, that'd be a big celebration then. It's not very long ago. We'll have to, so we'll have to try and survive till then, so we can come and enjoy it. <laughs> How old will I be in 2026? 79. 79. Seven no, in 2026, you'll be 76. Another I'll seven be 76, years. seven years, yeah. yeah. Let's hope we're all here then. <laughs> well, am I going to be doing this for another seven years? <laughs> I've got you on camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I might have a little booth just outside, you know. Two laps before you go in. <laughs> See you, thank you. Oh, and this is the chapel. Going into the chapel now. 
Hello. Yes, it's very good. Come on then, tell me something exciting about the chapel. Well, still get used. Still get used. Yeah, yeah. Wow. The late Lord Arnold, who died in his 90s, and he's assisting his private funerals here. Mm-hmm. Um, So who does the vicar from the local parish come and so, yeah. come and do it? Yeah. yeah. Very nice. Standing on the, did they explain the entrance while they raised the ceiling when they made the carriageway? They, you know, they opened it up. Oh the no, I missed that bit. Well, they raised the ceiling down there, uh -huh. and this was the floor that was affected by that. So this floor was about a metre and a half higher than it originally. All oh, right. Which is some feat of engineering, actually. So how? When did they do that then? That was in the eighteen. So look at these dogs. The dogs on there. And then you've got the lions. Oh, and the ceiling's nice as well. Yeah. <laughs> you what? What did you say? Saving that one at the end for Phil Neville. Oh, I see. They've got all of those the saints that come in there or something, and then Phil Neville. Neville. Phil Neville there. <laughs> Very Victorian that, right. having the stuffed birds, great bringing them back from far, from their travels. Yeah. And we're now coming to the kitchen, I do believe. I think that's a natural way. Wow. Don't forget this is the servants' quarters yeah, and the servants would have had to go up and down all the time. And that, I can't remember where that takes you to, but the steps there are worn as well. Do you want me to check? Go and have a look. I think it takes you to nothing, really. It takes you to a gate. A gate. <laughs> it must be the dungeon. The dungeon. Upstairs. <coughs> An upstairs dungeon. That's where they would have cooked everything on the range. Beautiful. And the big fat pan at the bottom to collect the fat. And all the, all the, um, that would be another range there. I yeah. bet you there was one over there and they've taken it out. And that's for lifting the, the big hogs and things that they had on, on there. Blancmange and the jelly thing, jelly moulds. Have we got the eggs up? <laughs> eggs with care. No, that's probably. Oh, that's for the golden they would have eggs. Had to, the golden eggs, right? No, they probably had to carry them, send the servant to go and get the eggs, and hope they didn't pass them to anybody or get broken or whatever. So they had to keep them. Well, look at all those moulds, aren't they beautiful? They use cheap stuff though, didn't they? Coppers. Coppers. <laughs> she was daily till 1954. Wow, yeah, 54. That's not bad. Oh. 
this is the washroom where you wash your clothes. Wash them in there, probably dishes or something. Plates. Plates and dishes in there. And then clothes on here, probably. Oh no, draining board. Yeah, yeah. Scullery. A necessary house for the servant's lavatory. And this is. What's this? A bath? No? Storage. Cold storage? Cold storage, probably. Yeah. It's uh, waterproof, so it'll be fluid. So fluid. Dead bodies? Yeah, dead bodies. <laughs> A few calves and deer. A of old tables. Smells hoisty in here. That's interesting. That is a grinding stone. And they would sharpen the knives on that. And that's the kind of stone that the bike the man on a bike used to come round and sharpen our scissors. It wasn't as big as that, but it was a little a miniature one. A sandstone wheel. We come out into this courtyard again and right up there are the little swifts are they swifts or are they swallows? that I don't know look at them Them ones over there, yeah, but they're not cheap. What oh, do you mean? <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> oh, dear me. So you 
you're having a plowman. Mm. Wow, that looks massive. And dandelion burdock <laughs> and a hot potato. <laughs> and I'm having a brie, a French brie tomato and basil quiche with coleslaw, potatoes and salad. And I'm having, again, my Harrogate sparkling water. And his lordship is on his dandelion burdock, which apparently is very strong. Mm. Mm. Very nice. Well, we're on our way back. We've had a great cru mini cruise. Mini cruise. Mini cruise. Luncheon at Raby Castle, as the posh ladies do, as one does. And now it's time to go home and walk in that door and know that your cruise is over until the next time.